Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is going to show how to do a an extracorporeal knot. Um, for the extracorporeal knot, you ideally need, uh, of course, a knot pusher. But if you are in um, uh, desperate need for a knot pusher, you can always improvise with a Babcock. This is the actual knot pusher. This is an open knot pusher. We carry at our OR both open. And close knot pushers. And I don't know why this is not on focus. I am so sorry. But I think you get a better idea right now. There. And you will need two Kelly clamps. And you need a ninety centimeter or thirty six inch um length suture um, same technique uh, to introduce the needle which I am going to show in a second where um, your needle has to be approximately grab from the suture about a centimeter away and the needle should point towards the patient's head um, uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and introduce, right now my needle is in, and um, I'm going to go ahead and switch my needle to the other hand. And here, for example, I don't have the greatest grip, and I'm actually biting a little bit of the actual suture. So, the official way to orient the needle is by grabbing and pulling. Okay, so now I'm in, and we're going to go ahead and put our suture right here and I do not know why this phone is acting up I am so sorry but there we're gonna go perpendicular remember the more perpendicular that you go against the plane the the deeper your bite is so um, when you suture cuff you really want to just suture with the tip up so you don't you don't have to go with like a huge perpendicular bite because you will grab stuff that you're not supposed to like the ureters keep in mind that the ureter is approximately maybe 1.2 1.5 centimeters away from the anterior angle of the vaginal cuff so don't go crazy there so like i said just basically the tip now to do this uh, suture we're going to go ahead and go and take a bite um, i'm going to go ahead and retrieve with my right hand and like I said earlier with the molars as possible um, so that you can um, be as effective as possible so I have it I'm gonna go ahead and grab it about one centimeter don't do it closer because you will evolve the needle and it's going to be very difficult to find and now I'm going to basically even out the length of the the side that has the needle and the side that doesn't have the needle and unfortunately cannot show here too well but um, I will go ahead and make my first throw which would be a right hand throw and I will go ahead and put my Kelly clamp so we're gonna throw first of all a right hand throw and I am going to slide the needle I'm sorry not the needle the knot pusher to do my first throw with my right hand and I will cinch down both sides just kind of like when you do in uh, one of those French knots um, in Aberdeen, Aberdeen hitch I am going to throw a second right hand and this will basically provide us with a sliding knot 
and I am going to slide it and cinch it from both sides now that the knot is down I am going to go ahead and throw a left hand and I'm going to go ahead and slide it cinch it down really nice and I am going to secure it with a fourth one which is going to be another right hand um, and I am going to go ahead and slide it for the last time therefore completing an extracorporeal tie I will go ahead and cut it with my laparoscopic Marylands always cut it about a centimeter long retrieve the other remaining piece of suture and that completes an extracorporeal tie Sli uh, slip knot extracorporeal thank you